So we've been doing pop-ups for the last few days and we did an off-canvas pop-up menu. Well, let's now do an off-canvas pop-up menu again, but this time let's have different components sliding in. One from the bottom and one from above. Really simple and easy to do. But let me show you how we're gonna do that. So what first thing we we'll do is go over to templates in Elemental Pro, click add new. We're gonna click uh, pop-up over here. And I'm just gonna make this name, uh, name B, uh, I'm gonna call it pop up off two. Okay, I would probably say give it a much better name because it's easy to remember, but I'm just gonna call it pop up off two, create template. We are not gonna use any of the templates that Elemental gives us. We're gonna close that down. I'm gonna have a section over here. Now this section will be two columns, okay? So I'm just gonna set it to be two columns. I will now click on the section and I'm gonna set the width of this to be a full width, okay? Um, by the way, I am going to adjust this in the pop-up settings anyway, so I could have missed that out. The key one though for me is I'm gonna set the column gap to be no gap, and I'm gonna set the height to be a minimum height of VH100. The whole point of VH100 means it fills the screen. Many people will hit fit to screen. Let me tell you now, fit to screen does not always fit to screen. Minimum height VH100 works perfectly well for your desktop, your tablet, and your mobile. Okay, that's all I'm gonna do at the moment for this. Then what I'm gonna do is go over down here to the bottom left where we have the settings. You gotta click that. Okay, down there, bottom left, make sure you do that. I'm gonna set the width of this to now be 100 VH. So you can now see what it's doing, okay? It's now filling up the, basically the entire section and everything like that, okay? Full width, full height. Fit to content, we will leave it at that. And I'm gonna set the layout to be in the center for the horizontal and the vertical. Will there be an overlay? Yeah, we'll leave that in. Will there be a close button? Yeah, we'll leave the close button in as well. How will the entrance animation work though? Now, normally, the way, if I was to go in here and I was to go and say fade in down or fade in left or whatever, it's all gonna come in like that kind of, you know, like it's all gonna come in, whooshing in at you. I want column one to slide in from below and column two to slide in from above. So they, it's gonna kind of do that effect, right? Does that make sense? Like that. Now what I'm gonna do though is for the section, I am gonna say the entire pop-up fades in like that. So what will happen is you'll have this effect going on, but the first thing it will do is it will do that as well. So we're almost getting like a double entrance animation effect. And when it fades, when we do the exit, I'm gonna say it just fades out like that, right? So nice little effect we got going on there. I am gonna change this to be about 0.7. I find 0.7, 0.8 works really well. When you go to one, 1.2, you're now pushing the delay a little bit on people, which I don't like. I'm also gonna to go to the style, set my overlay. I'm gonna leave it to be a little bit of a transparency background, which we can't see at the moment because we've got our columns in full view. But we do have a close button, which at the moment we can't see. So let me just give this a bit of color. Let's just go for a, I'm gonna go for a black color for now. I've just shrunk my screen because it was half hidden over there, okay? But we could rearrange it to be how we want. And I'm just gonna leave it over there for now. Now the key bit really is the columns. I want my columns to be full height basically okay and i don't want me, i don't want to have to add in spaces i think you understand what i mean right if i go in here and i stick in a header that column is only still like that bit but the page is vh so what i'm going to do is i'm going to set my columns in fact let me just put that header back in okay i'm going to set this column to be a vh of 100 this is really easy to do you click the column you go to advanced you go down to custom css and i'm just going to type in div curly bracket and I'm gonna say height like this and I'm gonna say 100 uh, VH and that's it. And then close that bracket off. Div, curly bracket, height, 100 VH, uh, semicolon, whatever you wanna call it. And then curly bracket close again. That is now full height. So I've just dropped in a nav menu here. I'm not gonna spend too much time styling it. I've just made it a bit bigger and bolder. Um, the key thing though is that you want to make sure that maybe you don't have a breakpoint, set that to be none, 
and also set the layout to be vertical so it's going downward. So you could drop in your menus over here. The great thing also is that you could do the same thing on the right hand side as well. So for simplicity, I'm just going to replicate it on the right hand side as well. So the simplest way to do this is I'm just going to get rid of the current column that we do have and I'm just going to duplicate this so we now have two columns, okay, like that. So we've got the same thing going on there. It just keeps it simple, but you could have put in images, a subscription form. You could even have split your menu up. So you have some items here and a bit of text and you have a bit of text there. And then you have other items below as well. Buttons, you can pick and choose what you want to go for, okay? Now, what I am going to do to column one, though, is I am going to stylize this. So I've just gone and stylized it really, really simple, basically, with a few gradient colors. Remember, you can add whatever you want to the left and right hand side. You could even have three or four or five columns, okay? Don't make it overly too complicated because remember, how is this going to look on the mobile? Because column one and column two will now be below one another, unless, of course, you make them 50-50%, which would look a little bit too crowded, but you you know what I mean there. Now, here's the key bit. With column one, I'm going to go in and set in a motion animation with an entrance animation, basically. And I'm going to say that this will fade in up, like so. You saw that? And column two, we will have, again, the same thing, motion effect, but this time, this one is going to fade in down like that. Now, when you do go to save this, it is going to say, do you want to set some conditions up or triggers or advanced rules in terms of, is it going to automatically appear on every page after three or four seconds or when you leave a page? That's not what we're doing here. We're going to have an icon or a button somewhere. When you click it, this navigation menu will pop up like that. So what we're going to do is we're going to hit save and close. Now, even though we've got the background colors, and we have set the background overlay as well. Remember, when you go over to the settings and you go here to the style, we have a background overlay here. There are a few little things I would recommend you do. Number one, go to your section and make sure your background color is set to transparent. Make sure that's fully on transparent, okay? So even though the columns have colors, make sure the section has a fully transparent background. Also, when you go back to your pop-up settings, okay, when you go to style, even though we have set the background overlay color for the pop-up, again, set the background type to also be transparent. If you don't do that, even though you've got a background overlay effect, you'll get a white background suddenly appear for a split second as the animation is happening, which is a little bit off-putting. So you don't really want to do that. Okay. So please make sure you do that. So pop-up settings, uh, make sure the background or the pop-up background over here is transparent. Now what we're going to do is just go to a fake page and I've added in a icon like that. Um, you just drag in an icon, go over here and then type in bars and it will appear. Now when you've added in your bars, what you then want to do is set your link to open the pop-up. Click the dynamic tags, okay, or the stack or whatever you want to call it. Click on pop-up, then click the spanner or the wrench and then go over here, make sure it says open pop-up and then pick your pop-up. Now, I think it was called pop-up. Yeah, pop-up off two. There we go. So if you forget the name, just type a bit of it and it will bring up a selection of items. You pick the one you want. That is it. Okay. So this pop-up could have been anywhere. This icon, it could have been left-hand side of the page, right hand at the bottom. You could position it wherever you want. It could even be a button or a headline as well, you know, with the word off canvas menu, whatever. So let's now just go over to our page. Let's just refresh this fake test page I got over and over here. When you click it, you'll see the background overlay. And then you should see the column one slide in from the bottom and column two slide in from the top. Did you see that? Now, the key bit is I cannot stress this enough that background overlay. If you had not set over here in pop-up settings that to be transparent, you would have got a white background flash up for a moment just before it all slid in. So look, when we get that, and I've gone for this effect, you could have had it come in like that as well, like that, or um, even just zoom out at you like that. You could have different types of effects going on. So this is quite a nice, versatile way, again, of just adding in a pop-up off-canvas menu with a little bit of animation and things going on there. Really simple and easy to do. 
Um, you know, I, 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 I can't, I, I, I mean, I don't know what else I want to say about this. It's pretty simple in how it works. Okay. So I hope you like, subscribe, share and follow, and I'll see you soon. Never break, always fight, never quit, do it right, play the game, win your life, have no shame, there's no time, feel the pain, let the grind, I could change, in my mind, pick a lane, commit and climb, the only way, to win it life, I never miss that fact, taking big swings, bitch hands.